Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Hilden flip-top petrol lighter with a medallion on the front for MPA, the Military Police Association, and the back of the lighter is engraved. I thought when I initially saw the listing that the lighter was a joke, and after doing a little bit of research, it may be even a bigger joke than I had originally thought. But it is engraved IGD 1961, I beat Arnold Palmer. The way that this particular lighter was engraved, you can see that the 1961 and Arnold Palmer were the same font and then the IGD I beat were the same font. Different from each other but I'm saying those markings were in those two fonts making it look like the IGD and I beat were added later. You can see there is the lighter lid. It functions pretty well especially considering that Still got the original wick in it, and or it looks to me like the original wick. It's very dirty. I didn't change it. Cleaned it up as best I could and began to use it. Now, I did a little bit of research and found a brand new one that had sold or been listed on WorthPoint. And the IGD and IBEAT engravings were filled with green somehow. I don't know if that is plating, anodizing, paint. You can see here the insert is worn, definitely been used. It's got a pretty good solid felt pad on it and it does look like the original wick and wadding and all. It's about the size of a Zippo Slim, maybe a little bit bigger. Does show plenty of scuffs, scratches, dings, plating loss, other wear, etc. You get a look there at the applied emblem or medallion with the earth on its axis or on a pedestal sort of reminded me of the Space Needle in Seattle. IGD I discovered from further research was International Golf Day. So rather than somebody going back and engraving this as they had beat Arnold Palmer I think this was probably some kind of promotion for International Golf Day where these lighters were given out and I also saw a plaque on the internet with the same verbiage. So I think it was a promotion where somehow everybody beat Arnold Palmer. But, you know, back at that time, Arnold Palmer was the best in the game winning majors. He was in his prime in 1961. I believe the emblem is brass and looks pretty nice. It was dirty when I got it so I gave it a good cleaning just with the typical household disinfectant wipes. Really just getting the grime I don't polish or anything like that. See there some scratches. You can also see the lid is concave. It looks awful uniform. It doesn't seem like that could have been designed that way. But it doesn't look like it has been beaten that way either. So I tend to think that that is the way the lighter was designed or maybe something in the design was flawed and that occurred afterward. I don't know. 
see cracks and different blemishes occur over time. I'm not sure if a dent in the lid of that size could have occurred over time without undue pressure being placed on it from the outside. See there, the hinge is a good solid hinge, not perfect, but not just flopping around either. Good, decent, flip top lighter hinge. I'm not sure how prevalent the military police association was or is among military police. In my young adulthood, I had a friend who was a military policeman. We have a lot of Air Force here around Oklahoma City, Midwest City, the area that I grew up and have lived in. So I don't know what nuances and variety you have where you live, but that is one of the things that we have in Oklahoma City is military families from all over the country stationed at Fort Sill in Midwest City. Arnold Palmer was a little before my time. I know he had a big rivalry with Jack Nicholas and no, I'm drawing a blank now. Tom Kite, another one, Tom Watson. Those are all well before Tiger Woods and the group we have today. But Arnold was a celebrity. He was really well known for a golfer. When I was growing up, golfers weren't that well known. Everybody knew who Arnold Palmer was and Jack Nicklaus, but most of them weren't all that well known until Tiger came along. But Arnold Palmer was, I mean, he'd go on the Tonight Show and make all kinds of appearances. He was a public figure and really a beloved, they called it Arnie's Army. And I very seriously doubt if there were any amateurs beating Arnold Palmer in the year 1961. And certainly not so many beating him that there were multiple lighters made, multiple cheap lighters. <laughs> There's got to be some kind of story behind it, a promotion. If anybody out there was involved with the military police association in the 1960s, then leave a comment down below and help explain it to us. So a very nostalgic old piece that somebody definitely ought to be adding to their collection. Until next time.